has a big future. Um, these boards that you see up here, this is the future site of our critical incident theater. And we received a congressional appropriation. We're now funding some initial initiatives, both through our own resources and through our own foundation, working with other foundations in order to have the resources to put in this room a theater where we will train EMS, police, fire, biotech technicians, who by the way, we have biotechnology labs in this building also, to plan for and respond to critical incidents. So whether it's a Katrina evacuation, whether it's a shooting, whether it's a DNC or something like that, where you have to mobilize people, we'll be able to have professionals who are already working come in and learn those skills, as well as people before they go out into the field to learn the teamwork. Because right now, we're pretty separate in those disciplines in the way that we train. So we are excited about this initiative. You'll also notice signs in this building. We are working very hard on a business simulation studio center where we will have students who are in business environments doing that interactive work, using virtual reality, sitting in boardrooms, working on teams to make sure that they learn how to work together. So after your business is conducted, we have our great tour guides who are here who are going to take you to the two programs. I know you've pre-signed up, but if you can possibly squeeze out the time, we would love it for you then to do a reverse reverse the breadcrumbs and come back here and see this program if you've gone to film or if you stayed here to go over to the film school. So thank you so much. I know about rotationals. I know that it disrupts you a lot to have your um, meetings in a different location, but we're thrilled that you're here to see what we're doing. And I hope that you're totally shocked and wowed and awed by everything. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, Denver Public Library and the <coughs> open source media for um, anyone to use. How much is four terabytes? Um, it would take a little while because it depends on how it was captured. Uh, most of this was captured standard. Uh, so it's, um, right now we have, uh, I think, 190 uh, tapes that have been uploaded. So uh, each of those tapes is about an hour. So uh, we also have some of that uh, HD compression. I think it's all been done at standard compression, but we can up-res some of it, which will then eat up a lot more. A lot more than four terabytes. It would take you weeks <laughs> to, to watch the footage. So if we can go clear around this. I was telling people as we came in, this is the old Hermes Club. Um, and this was redone by the community college system. It was going to be the electronic community college. Um, and in partnership with Jones uh, Intercable. And it was supposed to be 50-50, but Jones ended up putting in 50,000. And the community college system put in 8,950,000. So it wasn't quite even. Um, so <laughs> um, we... Uh, we actually had, when, when the place was first built, this little room up here, we had an AVID certified training center, which is a, an editing software package, but hardware package also, that um, we generated training, people flying in from Thailand, New York, all over the world, um, a quarter million dollars uh, a year just on training in that little room. We also cut five broadcast projects some feature films there. But now we've, we're an Apple certified training center. So, um, and what we have in here is sort of old fashioned broadcast. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go through the studio, but um, where we can do live switching when we have uh, filmmakers in, shoot interviews with them um, on, on three camera setups and so forth. But mostly we're a single camera school where we do narrative. You're really deciding what that image is going to be. And so developing a lot of their sense of aesthetics and taste and so forth using a single camera technique. Um, this is an audio post where we can bring in, uh, we can sync up um, someone shot that audio, which is a tradition around here. Um, they can they can bring in their film and bring in their their uh, talent and do what's called looping and sync up to the image. We play back the image to them and they revoice their audio right here. And we can mix about 120 tracks here. 
to do a feature film or broadcast project, whatever's necessary. These are individual edit stations over here. Um, this one has eight terabytes in it, um, eight processor. We can do four layers of uncompressed HD in, in here. Um, this is a little project for Denver Public Schools. This is uh, what we're calling a red room, which is for a new uh, red digital cinema. Um, Peter Jackson just bought 10 of these cameras. We bought one. Um, but it's 4K, so it's four times the resolution of standard HD. And it's the cutting edge of technology where Sony cannot equal the resolution for $350,000. But this we bought for thirty five. Wow. So um, that's what's happening. It's bandwidth, and that's why we need all these processors. That's why we need the broadband. But what's happening with the entire world, right, is everything is going broadband. As the web goes broadband, that means that all content on the web starts to become motion. Because the eye goes first to motion, secondarily to contrast dominance, and, and so forth. So motion video delivered on the web, and Apple's betting, betting a lot of money on this too, um, is the wave of the future. And what we do is, while our students come in with deep immersion and background, not necessarily taste, uh, in <laughs> film and, and video, what we do is we call it stealth literacy. Because we, we attract them because of the flash and sizzle and excitement and what they're used to interacting with on a passive basis. And we make them become active participants in its creation. And in order to do that, they have to write, they have to project manage, they have to work in teams, they have to do all the collaborative things that's necessary to do in any business situation today. So um, that's, that's one thing that's, that's exciting. We actually wrote custom software this is Spike Lee was out last year and he said, well, you know, I always thought film school was an equipment rental house. And I ran the equipment rental house at Columbia University, so I'm familiar with that. So um, what we do is we wrote custom software where they actually have to score a certain level on their screenplay in order to get access to the equipment. And if they have 80% on a 20 standardized question by the professor, <laughs> graded one to five on each of those issues in storytelling, then they can reserve equipment. But if they want the full equipment, if they want <coughs> upper level gets $8,000 budget. If they want the full amount, they have to keep rewriting. They have to keep <coughs> improving it to get up to 90%, 95%, 100% so they get full budget. Then they have a budgeted piece that they decide what they want to use and what they want to, the equipment that they want to spend their budget on. Same as if you would in a professional situation, they just don't pay for it. Do you want to come this way?